up nurse nook family and welcome back to another vlog as you can see i am not in my usual setting and that is because i am actually in orange county california so those of you that have been following me you guys know i live in houston that's where i work um and i am currently on a business trip in orange county california um beautiful here this is my first time here and gorgeous and so i'll tell you guys a little bit about what i'm doing here later i actually have some very exciting news to share with you guys and i'm working on a super soul super soul a super cool project which is why i'm here um i just checked into my hotel room let me give you guys a little tour because this is going to be my home for the next week okay it's a little dark on this side but here is me and this is my home for the next week. Okay, we can we need some light in here. Hold on. I don't think that made much of a difference, but whatever. This room is super cute, guys. We got our king size bed over here. We got a nice little backdrop in the back. Some mirrors. I love mirrors because it makes the room like so much bigger. And look at this little couch over here. Like this is absolutely gonna be my reading couch for the next week. So big, so full of possibilities. Oh, this is the my butt on camera. I didn't know this thing was on wheels, but I love this couch. I kind of want one of these for my room. It's like a little A couch I can lay out fully. Very nice. All right, so over here we have our desk. This is where I can go over my script um, for tomorrow. Got a little TV. We got our mini fridge in here. My bag is in this closet, our little ice bucket. View, outstanding very pretty view we have the mountains in the background the palm trees super cute and now my favorite part of this hotel room the bathroom this bathroom is super nice y'all because look at this shower so much space in the shower why is the shower so big and it's just so airy and white and open in here and just a lot of space. I can do my hair, makeup, like all this sink space. We love this. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I will talk to you guys more about this tomorrow, but I am filming something really cool with a very, very popular nurse figure. Y'all have to stay tuned to find out who that's with. This is gonna be geared towards students that are preparing to take their NCLEX. So this is something that is super, super useful for any of my RN students out there. It's gonna be something really cool for you guys. So it is currently like 4.45. I didn't bring face wash. My skin is super, super picky about what I put on it. And so I think I'm gonna make a trip to Sephora before I go to dinner later and check out the mall and see if I can pick up some face wash because if I jump out of my normal routine, I'll wake up with 35 pimples and especially if I'm gonna be on camera, that is not the move. So let's see what we can make shake. Okay, so currently in the food section at Target, there is a I hope you guys can hear me, but there is like an outdoor mall, like walking distance from my hotel. So I just came to like stock up. I stopped by Sephora and just getting some snacks to keep in the hotel so I don't starve to death. So I'm back in the hotel room. We just got back from Target. I actually walked to the mall. Like I said earlier, they had a Target there and then I took an Uber back because ain't nobody trying to walk. Even though it's close, like I can see it from my room, literally that's the mall I walk to. But even though this is a really nice city, I don't know if these people like that. And you know, I am a young single woman walking around here and I don't want anybody to try me, especially with bags. So I just took an Uber back and I will show you guys a little haul. Oh, so apparently there's two hotels with the same name, but like different varieties of each other um, where I'm staying. And I guess I got dropped off at the wrong one. And I walked in and I was like, this don't look familiar and some guy came up to me he's like are you drop are you delivering something or you dropped something off i was like sir i'm staying here i was not staying there whole wrong hotel <laughs> how embarrassing but i'm in the right place now and i'm in my room so i'm gonna just do a mini haul and show you guys what i got first off let me say these 
bags at Target in California are quality. When I tell you I was checking out and I'm like trying to separate it because it's so thick and quality, I'm like, damn, these bags are all stuck together. Turns out it's just one thick quality bag. So I have to Target for that. So I always, uh, I always recommend getting some snacks for the hotel, especially when you're staying for like an extended period. When I refer to extended period, I mean anything longer than two nights. I'm going to be here for at least four nights. And so I just wanted to get some stuff to keep in the hotel with me. Number one is water. I paid $2.99 for this whole pack right here. You pay like up to $3 sometimes for a water bottle. And I got all of these for $2.99. And you always need water, period. I got some naked juice just because I didn't want to get like fruits and stuff to go bad and go to waste. So this is just something quick that I can eat, drink, whatever. I got some organic blue corn tortilla chips. Oh, I also stopped by Sephora because I didn't have any face wash. And this is one I've been using. Love her. Used to the people. Shout out to my cousin for putting me on this. And then I also needed a new primer. So I'm trying out this Fenty Pro Filter uh, mattifying primer because your girl is super oily. So hopefully that works. Also from Target, I just got some oil absorbing sheets because again, I'm oily and I haven't used these in a while and I just looked at myself and I was like, God damn, I'm oily. So need her. And then just to snack on again, I got some of these Belveda breakfast chocolate bars or biscuits, whatever. Of course, I had to get one of my favorite wines for the week because treat yourself, this is freak show. Oh, also, before I finish that, I am so shook that I walked up in Target in California and they had a whole aisle of hard liquor. I have never seen that in any grocery store ever. So I was like, oh, California, that's what y'all are on. Anyways, back to the haul. I am not vegan. However, I try to be as healthy as possible. Um, obviously, I don't have a kitchen here or anything to like really cook food or even like a toaster. I barely have a microwave. I have to go downstairs and get it. And so I just got these little microwavable meals. The healthiest that I can find. These are vegan, dairy-free, Italian sausage and pasta, and then a teriyaki chicken bowl. But that is my little haul. I am going to get ready for dinner. I'm going to meet up with some people for dinner and then I'll be calling it a night and getting ready for my day tomorrow. Okay, so this is my quick little dinner outfit. I still have my makeup on from like 8 a.m. this morning. I just put on some more face powder. This little number is from Nasty Gal. And then I have my creeper-ish Nikes. And just a little something cute, a little something quick. And that's all we need. I'm back home and I'm tired because California is two hours behind Houston. So I'm on Houston time. It's like 10 p.m. here, which is really 12 o'clock midnight in Houston. And so Shadi is tired. And so I'm starting to get ready for bed. I just took off that jumpsuit because she was suffocating me. Just doing a quick short to film for you guys. And then I have to take a shower and start getting ready for tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Today is day one of filming. I have on my scrubs. If y'all are wondering, these are from Med Couture. Makeup is done, hair is almost done. She's just finishing up drying. I'm getting ready to head over to, head, to head over to the filming site and I will see you guys there. All right guys, so we are here filming. I have Mike from Simple Nursing here. What up? Do you want to talk about what we're working on? Gang, gang, gang. Just don't show my basketball shorts. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I can't. Mike, so what are we working on? Yeah, so right now we're going to be working on the men of nursing calendar. We're going to be showing everyone <laughs> <more confident. laughs> So we're working on video rationale. So guys, just imagine having you world, but like a video breakdown of showing you how to answer their questions in 90 seconds or less. So we're collaborating here with Nurse Alexis, who's reading off this awesome teleprompter we had. <laughs> we had like three nursing instructors who actually wrote questions for the NCLEX, help us create a systematized way to break down every single question in 90 seconds. So if you guys have ever had problems breaking down questions, you might know the content and know how to recite it to your friends and dogs and parents. But if you just don't know how to break down a question, that's what we're helping you with. So we have 1,500 
question breakdowns. We're doing 1,500 videos, guys. So it's going to be amazing. And Alexis, you're helping us. So thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, so excited to be here. Keep my cool mask, guys. So we just wrapped our first day of shooting. Mm -hmm. Yay. We filmed for like, what, eight hours? We started at like yeah, nine like today. Nine. Ooh. Our camera stuff is all packed we up. <laughs> we just did and we will be back for day two tomorrow. Ooh. See you guys then. What's up guys and welcome to day two of filming. Everyone stepped out for a second and then I just remembered um, I am filming a vlog. So today is day two. We are being serious with the questions today. Yesterday was a lot of just like getting comfortable and figuring stuff out. This is not as easy as I thought it would be. It's definitely a lot easier day two after practicing um, a lot more, but it's definitely um, very interesting. I've never read from a teleprompter before or had to like read a script off a teleprompter. So very interesting indeed, but I'm still having a great time. Look at my like little tiny microphone. Hello. And we are taking a quick break and we are gonna jump right back to it. So I'm back in the hotel room. As you can see, it is like six hours since we last stopped filming. Guys, let me just tell you, filming all day is exhausting. And that's why I haven't been vlogging much. I told myself while I was out here, I was gonna be like walking around, exploring. Um, like I said, there's like that little outdoor mall like two blocks away from here. Um, no energy for that. I have been so tired after filming all day that I literally just come home and sit in my little couch over there. I come home and sit in my little couch over there and read and have a glass of wine and literally vibe for hours. Tonight for dinner, I went downstairs at the little like bistro thing they had. It's like a super small little um, like hotel. Not, it's not even a restaurant, just a little whatever the hell that's called. I don't know, it's just a little something that sells like food and wine and coffee and tea and stuff. But I ordered chicken wings from there tonight. And I wish I could undo that whole memory. Me and those chicken wings, we were not seeing eye to eye. I took a couple bites and I was like, Ugh! thank God I bought those like little frozen vegan meals that I showed you at Target because I had some of the chicken wings and I was not feeling it, and so I just went to heat up um, the vegan pasta and sausage one that I got, which was actually pretty decent. And even though I didn't really like the chicken wings at all, I still like forced myself <laughs> to eat all of them because I'm the type of person, I hate wasting food, especially if I pay for it. I feel like I need to get my money's worth. And so even though it was doing nothing for me and it was almost painful to eat i'm just kidding let me not say that because there are people out there that don't even have a crumb to eat but i was not enjoying the chicken wing at all and i still forced myself to finish all of them <laughs> because no scent will go to waste here but tomorrow is day three of filming my last day tomorrow is going to be long i have like 120 questions i think to get through tomorrow um and also um Aspen is going to be joining us so hopefully you guys will meet her on the vlog tomorrow and that'll wrap up my quick little California Orange County tour. All right guys we just finished our third day of filming. It's my final day. Try to catch the light. It's my final day but Mike and Aspen hey still have some days to finish. Do you want to Give a little intro to the vlog. Oh yes, let me take off my <laughs> Maybe this looks better. Hi, my name is Aspen and I am currently a nursing student and I can't wait to shoot this with Alexis. I'm yes. so excited. Yes, yeah, so I just finished wrapping up and we are ready to head home and get some grub. So thanks Thank for this oh, video. We are great. Fun, yes. Great time. Great. All right, y'all, I just wanted to end the vlog here. I'm back home with Biscuit. Come here. Come here, Papa. Say hi to the people. <laughs> All right. I'm back home. I had a great trip. I am dead tired. My flight was this morning at 
eight so i had to be up at six my hair is woofing but i will say that i only had to do my curls one time during this trip the new products i've been using have been keeping my hair together and i am very blessed but um she's starting to get a little crusty now but i am home i'm ready to go to sleep and get ready for my next exciting journey that starts on monday that i also cannot wait to share with you guys so stay tuned and make sure you guys are subscribed like this video for more vlogs leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next video